We are extremely lucky here in the Northwest because our drinking water is some of the cleanest across the whole nation. I take it for granted, most of us do. But here is a question. What would happen if that water supply got compromised, if it got contaminated, or maybe the Bull Run Reservoir got compromised that feeds us that water, what then? Bull Run was tapped as our water source in 1895. Um, we needed a new water source because there were a lot of waterborne illnesses um, at the water source that we had in Portland um, in the late 1800s. So a group of engineers went out and found the Bull Run watershed and, and that became our water source. We have three conduits that basically bring water into town via gravity. So it's a gravity fed system, um, so water flows naturally into our distribution system and very few areas of the city need to actually be pumped. The West Hills, for example, areas that are in higher elevation, but almost the entire system is gravity fed. In addition to the Bull Run source, we also have a groundwater source that we developed in the mid-80s. They range in depth from 115 to about 650 feet deep. We have 26 wells that we use when we need to augment the Bull Run supply or when Bull Run is unavailable and we need extra water. Our winter demand, our base demand, is generally about 90 million gallons per day and then that goes up significantly in the summer when people start irrigating gardens and lawns and it can almost double in the summertime. What makes Portland water so wonderful is our source. We have a wonderful uh, water source, the Bull Run River. Um, it's a protected watershed. It's very unique in the country. Um, it's one of six unfiltered water sources. So our water is pure water from the forest, from the rain, directly to our taps. The region's water providers have been working together for about 10 years to address emergency supply needs. We've recognized that we all need to work together and support each other if one of our water sources was compromised or if there was a natural disaster that was localized or a weather event, terrorist attack, what have you. So one of the things that we've purchased is an emergency water distribution system. It's a manifold system that has six pipes that basically connect to a sanitary bag and we are able to fill bags and distribute them to the public in an emergency. The emergency water distribution system supplies emergency drinking water to the public when a the distribution system is unable to, to provide water. What we really focus on is having a bunch of different tools in our emergency water toolbox, so to speak. Um, so this is one of those tools. What we really, as a region, try to emphasize to the public is they need to have an emergency supply of water. Every person out there, every person out there should have a 72-hour kit with emergency water supply. And that really takes the pressure off emergency responders so that they can actually fix what's broken.